Okay, everyone, now let's continue to number four on the quiz. So we have the square root of 171. So we're going to take a perfect square root of 171 and then find the square root of that. So we're going to have the square root of 171, which equals to the square root of 9 times the square root of 19. Again, we're using 9 because it is a perfect square, and 19 is a prime number, so we can't do anything about it. That's as low as it goes. So let's rewrite this so it looks different. So we have the square root of 9, the square root of 19. Take the perfect square of 9, which will give you 3, because 3 times 3 give us 9 times the square root of 19. And that will be our final answer. Now, if you don't look on this and you say, I can't really think of any number that would be a perfect square of this, we can do it a different way where, so one, we can have, we can do the factors, prime factors specifically of 171. So you have 171. So we can list out all the prime factors of 171. So we can have 3 times 3 times 19. Again, we write it in sets of pair. We have two threes here, so we know that's one pair, and then we have 19. So we're going to write, separate these and write it in sets of pair, leaving the 19 by itself. So we're going to have the square root of 3 times 3 times the square root of 19. We know we have the square root of 3 times 3, which is just 3 times the square root of 19. Because again, this is a prime number, we can't do anything about it. We'll leave it under the radical. And that will give us our answer. Same, as you can see. Now, on to number five now. We have the square root of 450. So again, we're going to do it by taking the perfect square as a factor. So we're going to do 250 times 225, excuse me, times 2. That is because 15 times 15 gives us 225, so that will be our perfect square. So we're going to rewrite this as 225 times 2. Again, rewrite this, it looks separated, so we have 225 times the square root of 2. Take the square root of 225, which will give us 15. Can't set the square root of 2, so you leave it under the radical, which will give us the square root of 2. Now, if you can't think of a number that would be a perfect square of 150, we can do it again by the ways of prime factors. So, we're going to list out all the prime factors of 450. So, we're going to have 2 times 3 times 3 times 5 times 5. Again, as you can see, we have two 3's and two 5's. So we know there's a pair. So we're going to separate this in pairs, leaving the one without, that doesn't have a pair. So we're going to have the square root of 2 times the square root of 3 times 3 times the square root of 5 times 5. Now again, you can't get the square root of 2, so you leave it under the radical. But you can't take the square root of 3 times 3 and the square root of 5 times 5. Because there are two numbers, we know the answer would just be 3. So we're going to have 3 times 5, again, there's two of them under the radical, times, you write that way, times the square root of 2. 3 times 5 will give us 15 times the square root of radical 2, and that will be our answer. I see the same at the bottom. Thank you.